Last time on The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX. You spray a little powder on him. You know, in real life, Tanuki have testicles that they use as a mace to batter their opponents to death. I don't know why I remember that, but yeah. At least you learn something. And grab the key. We got the tail key. We kill him. It's only like four hits. Really easy. It's probably two if you have that stupid uh, sword thing. Power. Piece of power. A piece of power! And we beat the first dungeon. And for our, uh, our trial, we've got the uh, full moon cello. Hey there everybody, this is Millennium Jester signing back in with Let's Play Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX. Last time we defeated the blah 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 of the uh, tail cave and now we're heading to the uh, back to the village to see where to go next. It said something about a swamp but I don't pay attention to no no mystical gods telling me what to do. It really should be Shadow of the Colossus. Anyway, let's 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 go on shall what the Hey, buddy. I'm not your pal, buddy. I can't do the Canadian one. I'm not your pal, buddy. Hey, he's not your buddy, pal. They did something at Bow Wow's house. That sounds horrible. It's a bad scene with m m m moblins m m m m m m m m m m m So apparently some stuff went down at, uh... Bow Wow's house. Eee! I was dog napped by Mama Moblins. Mama 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 Take care of these, uh, Mamoblins. Get a Guardian Acorn. Eh, of course I do. Wish after the first time you see it, you could just skip that, but... I don't know. What were they thinking? Damn you, game dude. And yeah, then again, uh... Rolf does that too, although it's not as condescending or annoying when he does it. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, then ignore my random babbling. What is going on over in this house? Well, I pretty much stick to myself, me and my letters. My name's right. The only thing I don't like about my hobby is that I never receive a response. Keep that in mind for later, when I drop into a hole like a madman. That's what they called me, the madman. Sweet, delicious hearts. And here we have some, uh, fi I, the fish have a name too. Can't remember it for the life of me. They remind me of Cheap Cheap from, uh, Mario, though. Do, 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 do. I guess we can't go that way. There goes my plan. Why do they even come over here? All right. Instead of wasting people's time, let's uh, let's not talk to the rock because that doesn't do anything for us. Oh yeah, touching these uh big plants will hurt you, and they also shoot fireballs like the Zora from the other Zelda games. Are they called Zora or Zola? I, I I know there's a difference between between them and the uh, the the nice Zora, the ones that don't shoot fireballs at you and are generally not jerks like those ones are. I'm talking like the Zora from Link to the Past. Those guys were jerks.
stupid moblins and your stupid, stupid society. And here we get a piece of heart. You know why? Because we're awesome, we can jump. It's pretty much congratulating us on beating the first, uh, the first, uh, I was about to say gym, like it's Pokemon or something, but no, the first, um, temple, dungeon, nightmare, whatever the kids are calling it. I'm having some severe problems with my jump button today. Anyway, here's where you want to go. Eh? Who's this suspicion looking runt? Alright boys, let's get the red out. I don't know what he said. He said something about a ride. I don't, I'm not into that kind of play, man. I don't know about you, but uh... It's not how I roll. It's not me. I have no problem with moblins. I just don't want them around my children, you know? Let's go... Fight. <laughs> he must be a, an assassin sent by Madame Meow Meow. Legend of Zelda, Assassin's Creed. So basically he'll fire his arrows and then you can hit him with your, uh, your swordy sword. You have to wait till he bounces off the walls, though. Well, I'm bouncing off the walls again, and I'm dead. Oh, what? I have the sword power, too, so this guy's really taking a beating. Oh, you jerk. And I win. Suck my Rudy Patootie. Alright, so now we can grab the, the fairy. Heal our HP and talk to uh, Bow Wow. We've saved Bow Wow, what a fearsome beast. Now, if you go back to the village and talk to Madame Meow Meow, who has Bow Wow, I, I, don't, I don't understand, but uh, if you talk to her, she'll say, oh, why don't you go take him out for a walk? Basically meaning, go do the second dungeon, because... Does he eat the rocks? I think so. Can't remember. No, he doesn't eat the rocks. So we have to go back around. Alright. This is how we learn, folks. This is how we learn. Yeah, but uh, when you have Bow Wow in your possession, he'll, uh, he'll eat enemies for you. Which is helpful, especially for, you know, clearing out some of these areas. Unfortunately, you can't take him into the dungeon with you. I think that would have been cool, but nope. Nope, you leave him here. <laughs> and just kind of like walked into him. He's like, nope, noms. You weren't quick enough, Bow Wow. There you go. Bow Wow, I don't know how you work ana you know, animatonically or an 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 <sighs> Alright, I'm, I'm not good with English, alright? I, I, I suck at words and stuff, but you know what? I try. I do. Yeah, he eats the big plants, too. He has a very big appetite. So basically, he'll eat the pr or the plants, the plants, and then you can go to the dun second dungeon, Bottle Grotto. God, and learn to talk. Yeah, I expect to see this message a lot in this dungeon. Alright, so here's the door is shut, so let's put on our magic powder, sprinkle some of that magic stuff in there, and let's continue on. And here we have some, uh, I forget what these ones are called. Like I said, if you know their names, put them in the description, and I'll, I'll add a little, uh, notey note. Alright, so these shy guy guys will kind of, like, follow you. I get it, it's heavy. Jesus. It's basically just like, charge up your sword attack, bam. Kill him, grab the compass. Now you can see where the chest and nightmare are hidden. Excelente, muy bien. <laughs> that's, that's just what it should say in the Spanish version. Not to sound racist or anything, just... Because you can't beat that. I think you can hit these guys, actually. No, you can't. Oh well. Uh, so you can come over here, hit that. Lots of treasures to get a get an acquire here. It's all about the treasures, man. The small keys. You can open a locked door. You can do whatever you want with those. It's like magic. It's 
speaking of magic, we have some magic powder sitting up here in the sky. And a small key for our troubles. Yeah, I kind of have to get used to jumping a bit. Alright, and then we take them out with a spin attack, and we get another small key. So, basically this dungeon's not too hard. You get a lot of small keys, like, right off the bat. So you can progress very far, very quickly. Alright, so we got those small keys. Let's hit that, so we can get through. Go through here. Grab the small key. I don't believe we can go any farther to the right without the uh, dungeon item. And I need to hit this. I love head or hearing that noise every time you enter a room. It's like, oh, new room. New room. New room. <laughs> Almost as if on cue. Alright, so let's, uh... No, let's do that right. No! Ouchies. It hurts me bananas. Alright, now the main thing to do here, if you haven't purchased bombs yet, if you have purchased bombs, grab them, pick them up, and throw them, and it'll blast him into the hole. But if you haven't, you have to kind of get the slip on this guy. And then... There you go. And we get the uh, stone beak, which lets us get some hinty hints. Guess we can go the other way. I'm just being a silly. Make our way around here. Grab up our, uh... Our, uh, our magic powder. Ah! Oh! One of these days, viewers, one of these days, I'll learn how to speak English properly. No! Seriously... I, I bet in speed or speed runs of this game, you have to like avoid those like the plague. Cause God forbid you enter that one area, it's just like, oh, now you're stuck. Okay, let's try that again with gusto. With gusto. All right. Lottie freaking no. I'm also one of those players that has to like kill everything in the room every time. I don't know why. I thought there would be something in here, but I guess not. No, don't touch the pots. They're like death. Leave me alone, you stupid bats. You're not my real mom. What? <laughs> I'm sure that owl had some words of wisdom to say, and I just completely ignored it. Alright, let's hear this fantastic phrasing. Make every block designed the same. A new path will open. In layman's terms, push the blocks, you dummy. Alright, so let's switch over to our, uh, our feathery feather. So we can get this platforming down. Surprisingly, the side-scrolling parts in this game aren't that bad. I think it would have been cool if they had a side-scrolling dungeon, but... Eh. What are you gonna do? I don't believe there's anything in this room either. For mini boss time. Basically just keep uh wha whacking him if you want. And he'll chase after you eventually and try to hit you with bombs and what have you. Basically you can hit him and then just back off from the bombs and try to avoid him if he tries to grab you. Basically the tip for that battle is do as much possible damage as you can and collect the fairy at the end. All right, well, we've reached the halfway point, so I'm going to I'm going to end it off here. And I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Link's Awakening. This has been Millennium Jester signing off. Have a nice day.